It's Booty Quake here from Roller Derby Athletics, and today's video is a post practice stretch out. Hey guys, you don't usually see me with my gear on, but I'm here to show you a routine that you can use to cool down and stretch out after practice. And I always like to do these when I'm doing this with my team with all of our gear on because I do not like to wait for the slow pokes to take their gear off when it's 10.30 at night and I want to get stretched and get home. So leave all your gear on, you can take your helmet off if you want, and let's figure out how to wring out our tight muscles after we've spent two or three hours skating around in circles. I love to think about stretching as flexibility training instead of thinking of it as some chore that I'm supposed to do after training. Working on our flexibility is an important part of our success and our strength as skaters. If things in our hips and our legs get super uh, tight and bound up, it uh, inhibits our power development, it inhibits our strength, it inhibits our ability to do the things that we want to do on our skates. So think of this cool down stretching sequence as flexibility training and think of it as a nice little hug you're going to give yourself so that you feel a lot better tomorrow after practice than you would if you didn't do any flexibility training. In case you didn't notice, this lovely jersey that I'm wearing is from Pivot Star, and they make jerseys in all kinds of colors and they'll do custom stuff for your team, and they are Velcro proof and comfortable and awesome. So check them out and shop online at pivotstar.com. Let's begin with our necks. I want you to hold each of these stretches for 30 seconds, so use some kind of a timer with your teams as you do this to make sure that you don't accidentally do them only for 20 seconds. All right, so the first one is with our next, you're gonna take your chin, you're gonna point it at your opposite armpit, and then if you feel comfortable, rest your head, hand on your helmet, and just deepen that stretch a little bit. Make sure as you do this, that you're not clenching your jaw, okay? So make sure that there's space between your teeth while you do this. After 30 seconds, other side. Chin to armpit, hand over top, and stretch a little bit there. Deep breaths, relaxed jaw. Okay, the next one I call Charlie's Angels. Grab, make a gun with your hands, and reach it out in front of you. Now, Stretch your fingers away from you, widening your shoulder blades away from one another. Feel a stretch across your upper back. Raise your shoulders up towards your ears. Pull your arms back into their sockets. Drop your shoulder blades down the back and side of your body. And repeat. Exhale and reach your fingers forward. Shoulders and arms come up, and then they come back, and shoulder blades down your sides. And you're going to repeat that for a third time. Stretch across your back, reach forward with your finger. Ears, reach your shoulders to your ears, and shoulders back, and down. And shake it out. All right, we're going to take it down to the floor now. Kneeling on your right with your left knee up and forward, tilt your pelvis under, and lean forward into that to see if you can feel a stretch in the front of your hip. This is a hip flexor stretch, uh, and it's one that we probably should all be doing more of. If you want to, you can put a hand up, you can do a little bit of a back bend, or you can do a little bit of a side bend. Whatever helps you feel some stretching through that front right side of your body. All right, after 30 seconds, Stick your left heel out in front of you. Flex that foot. Keep your hips square. So I don't want you to reach your left hip forward like this and open out like you're trying to do the splits. Keep your hips square and lean forward with this flat back until you feel a stretch in your hamstring. If you're bendy, you might uh, put your hands down uh, on the floor to support your upper body. Once again, not a competition. It doesn't matter if someone can go out into a big splits like this. I want you to keep your hips square because you're going to get a better hamstring stretch that way. After 30 seconds, you're going to tuck your left foot under and we're going to do a pigeon stretch. 
So for this, try to um, place your left shin at about a 45 degree angle to your body. Try to point your right hip bone towards the floor. And if you like, you can bow forward with this and you can put your forehead on your hands or on the ground. Take some deep breaths in this position and try to imagine all of your muscles loosening and softening. All right, to get out of this position safely, lean over onto your left butt cheek, tuck your foot under, and we're gonna go into a taco stand. So this is a groin stretch. You can experiment with having your hips forward or bringing them backwards and with having your heels close to one another or having your, heel, uh, your shins more parallel to one another. Whatever feels good for you and you can move around through this stretch as you do it. You don't have to be super static with this one. Okay, carefully lift yourself up out of that and then we're going to go back into the pigeon stretch on the other side. So we're going to tuck our right skate under us right shin at 45 degree angle to our body, left hip trying to point towards the floor, and we're trying to get our right butt cheek towards the floor. If you've got that flexibility, God bless you. I do not, but I'm working on it. Okay, take some deep breaths. Soften everything on your exhale. Hold this stretch for 30 seconds, and when you're ready to come out, walk yourself back up if you've been down, and lean over onto your right butt cheek to get out. Back up onto the right leg for your hamstring stretch. Same as the other side. Hips square, leaning forward with a flat back. And if you are further forward than me, then you might want to put your hands on the floor. After 30 seconds, we're going to do the other hip flexor. Tuck your pelvis under real strong. Lean forward and feel the stretch in the front of your left hip. You can do your arm up and over. Deep breaths, relax your jaw. All right, the last stretch for this sequence is gonna be a seated quad stretch. So you're going to uh, lay down on the ground, pull your right heel, the wheels of your right skate towards your right butt cheek, and then I want you to point your uh, right knee straight away from you, like in a straight line, uh, in line with your torso. Okay, so if your knee is forward like this, it's not going to give you a great stretch. Um, and if your knee is backwards, it's a little bit of strain on your, on your low back. So just try to point it straight down. 30 seconds. Flip over to the other side. Grab onto your toe. You can grab onto your wheels if you're not super flexible and try to pull your wheels towards your butt. And also notice, you wanna to try to avoid having your knee way up high like this. Try to keep your, your uh, thigh parallel to the floor. Hold that for 30. And then you're all stretched out. I hope that you are feeling nice and loosened up and stretched out and relaxed now after your hard work. Is there something that I missed? Is there a stretch that you love to do after practice? Then I would love to hear about it from you in the comments at the blog post that goes with this video. So if you're on YouTube watching this, you gotta go over to rollerderbyathletics.com. I'm gonna put the link right here and leave me a comment there. And if you like this video, then like it and share it with your team and help them stretch it out after practice with you. All right, guys, that's it from me. Until next time, I'm Booty Quake. I just kicked your ass. Now you can go kick somebody else's.